Good morning again, my peeps. Yeah, bless up on yourself, bless up on yourself. You know what? No. I have a piggy bank on a video we made earlier about, you know, Mr. Vegas, Arkai, and Tyrical. You know, Arkai, you know, Arkai thinks, Arkai was saying pretty much, you know, Vegas stop him from going pan to our eat certain food and all that stuff. You know, you all know the saga. You know, Tyrica same right heads I. You what no. Me is a man where from back in the days. I've always wanted to become an artist. But I just never never um push it to the limit where I probably should have, but I'm glad I didn't anyway because back in the days I know I knew nothing about royalty and rights to this and rights to that. I was just a youth to grow up a Mountain View back bush where, you know, me do want to get a buzz. So, we never know nothing about royalties and all these things. All we know was we used to, you know, the cover version of Sing Over, you know, as long as the sound string up and we hear the sound of play, that we are gravitated towards. And it really started out from about 19... Can go far back as 19, maybe 1985, 86. When we start listening to man like Luton and Stitchy, Papa Son and Professor Nuts and you know, all these greats. And then it trickled down where you know the, you know, later on you have the great like Shabba Ranks and all of them man, the Peter Metro, everybody. Ninja man, you know. We used to follow, we used to follow dancer big time. I wanted to become an artist big time. Now, in the case of where Tyrical is saying that I am right as Sangi Vegas, could be true, like I say, get your facts straight, I don't know. But I can give you a little bit of history about some known artists that me definitely know, say, facts, and I facts this, you know, say, some hit records with them about their teeth, them teeth, they tune them. A people sang them teeth. Yeah, big, big, big man things. No beating around the bush, big man things. People sang them teeth. Yeah, you still I watch my teeth? Me now replace it. Stop worrying about my teeth. Me now replace it. I and mean, me now use no just the men neither. Leave, leave me be and make it stay. Anyway, anyway, let's get back to the subject. I'm going to tell you about a few songs where I can remember as far as far as back. So, I grew up on Mountain View. 114, Backbush, right? So, as a youth, me always have follow music. I always wanted to be in the music business. I've been to studio a few times, you know, um, but I've never really done anything per se. Very, very, you know, small stuff. Because me never really concentrate too much on it. I mean, as a youth, I always have work, and then, you know, later on in life, me fly out and leave Jamaica. So, really, me never had their own music like that to really pursue it. Um, in Batbush, we used to have a song called Express Sound. If you come from Batbush, anywhere Vegas, Jarrett Lane and all them places, anywhere I'm out view, everybody know about Express. That was our area song. Right? Was, um, I think it used to be run by Thing Eddie and Trilla used to play, used to be the selector upon it. And even Eddie and Trilla back in the days of a song to where in our era they did have a little buzz. Both here were big, both here. Right, but Eddie and Trilla used to be the selector upon the sound there. And the owner, Jano, can't remember his name in the man. Every time I try to remember his name, I can't remember it. But anybody who come from Mount View know what I talk about. See? Big up on yourself. Bless up, bless up. I can't remember Connie. Connie, they don't want the son name Express. So you want now. Express used to play a few times of the week. They string up right to them little headquarters and play. And as you two used to go around, they go DJ and sing. And you know, we are talking about people. A whole heap of people where you used to pass through. You have youth like Donovan Steele. You have Glamour Tony. You have Jason. You have Colonel Lydie. You have Ian Sweetness. You have um, man, Stonewall Jackson. Jano Star, holy heap, holy heap, you know, I'm not calling the name, I'm not feeling away, you know. I just remember, I'm not a member right now. See? Um, I did say 
Colonel Lydic or Colonel Lydic or however they pronounce it. Um, the youth here, where him, um, him daughter did bust a few years ago and unfortunately she passed off. Um, Murphy, you have Murphy, bad bad DJ. Seeing bad bad DJ. So, to the subject of people taking people's song, or people write song, and people record it and not give them no credit. In the music business, it is true. If you hear it, it might not go the same exact way how you hear it, but most time it is true. I'm going to start by one couple of the biggest DJ where I know say, fat tech people song. You and him Glamour Tony. Back in the days, him do a song and you can't look it up, you know. Can't look it up. Right now, I don't really. I don't no, no know if I edit my video and throw in whole song and throw in other stuff in my video and them something. But I'll get to it. And I'll find them song and I'll play them for one day. But Glamour Tony do a song named Jump Up. Him do it on the RG label. I may never forget. Because I hear a youth and I see a youth go out there and I try music and when the get a buzz, you were in the area, you're going to hear it. And you're going to pay attention. Glamour Tony, Jump Up. No massive Jump Up, Jump Up, cool Jump Up. Right? You know who knock over the man's song? And when him knock it over, you know, you're not more Glamour Tony. Admiral Bailey, Jump Up, Jump Up, everybody jump. A Glamour Tony song, Admiral Bailey T. Facts. Facts. So I don't want to say. Facts. Another youth. Right where. Another bad DJ. You used to come DJ for Express. When the whole of you used to run there together. Named Jason. Never on the front seat. See me, I'm going to miss one. But Jason never on the front seat. No disrespect, Jason. You're a great DJ. You're the bad. Anyway, the big up yourself. See? Jason have a song where he say Fatina, 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 Fatina Panty Fatina, 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 Fatina Draws Fatina, 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 Fatina Panty And Jason used to DJ that song You know who come teeth it And make it big Nobody else but the great Ninja Man The song with Ninja Man about about Fatina Panty And a theme song A thief, Ninja Man thief Jason song Tell anybody say Luke Hurt say, say, say that Facts I just because back in the days we never have internet and video and all them something like we have now. So you now really find it in the archive unless somebody might have a cassette with express on it somewhere. And if you do, find it. If you do, find it. I just on song Ninja Man Thief. But nobody don't know about it. Nobody don't know about it because just on never big. But Ninja Man is big, so Ninja Man take him song. One more song now, no. The next song we may have to bring up, you know. Me not, me not really know the facts to it, you know. Me not know. But all I know say, one time ago, a rock fort, a, um, the skate land where them used to have a rock fort, a Winyard Road, right, right out of Winyard Road. Um, you'd have a DJ, me go out there one night, you know. One night we go, skate land, because they used to play music over there. I have a DJ from Rockford. I don't know what happened to him. I don't hear nothing more about him, but in the name Jimmy San. Bad, bad DJ. When I said you did crisp, crisp, like the youth sharp. See? Name Jimmy San. He have a song where he made a DJ. So them bow. I think they all have it on the plate. Them bow, them bow, them bow. But. The great Shabba Ranks, which is my artist, you know, Shabba, I love you, you know. But honestly, I don't no really know, you know, I don't accuse you. So, I don't know if I you take Jimmy San's song or a Jimmy San take your song. But all I know say, a Jimmy San first me hear with the them bow stuff. And then, of course, your version. So now disrespecting the elder, I don't know who really first come for the song, you know, but I just tell you know, what me know. So when you hear artists and say, boy, this man take them song and that man take them song, so most time it's true. Most time it's true, but in the Jamaican culture, we have no record of a lot of stuff. There was no agreement. And I can't tell you this too. Me as an aspiring artist, me writes, not even a writer, so me put song on cassette and get to artists before. Right? Like, for example, one time... When we used to work at Crossroad, 
I don't forget, I used to work right at the bottom of halfway tree road, right in a crossroad, right across from the 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 um the um the, 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 the market that in a crossroad, the meat market or whatever then they call it. I used to work at one place called Symbol Auto Parts. I used to sell car parts. Upstairs, I used to have a record shop named Arabic Records, owned by a bridge named Sherman. Sherman was a producer also. A whole heap of artists used to pass through, you know. I run up in a stitch there so before, I run up in a beanie man. Um, whole heap of artists. Um, even some artists we used to come from Canada more time come link Sherman. Cause like me say he was a producer. Um, a youth that Sherman used to produce that was an upcoming artist um, named uh, man. We call him Frankie. In the sound like Frankie Paul. Right? In the sound like Frankie. Sound good. Unfortunately, I think Frankie died, you know, many, many years ago. May so rest in peace. But anyway, I used to hang out at the record shop there because I work downstairs and I love music. I even go studio a couple of times with Sherman. You know, I try to get a little chance to record a song. I know who me run up in a while I was there one day, Peter Metro. I'm not afraid to talk, you know. Great artist, because I used to always go, um, go watch him, I think, on Wednesday night, for Metro Media. When a Alman town. I guess so you see the greats like Wayne Wanda and Wooly Pa Wooly ever had. Me can't, if, if, if me start mentioning name, I got, me, me, this, this, this video is going to be too long. Anyway, I buck up it on the bridge in Peter Metron. Me and him have a little talk and you know, you know, because you don't know big, big artists, you run up in a them and you know, you got to talk to them and try to get some insight and rare, rare, rare. And, you know, say me have a couple songs where me say, alright, you want me have a couple songs I'll give you, you know. Me don't remember how the conversation come, come up. But I um, you know, say me put some song on a cassette and give it to Peter Metro. And to be honest with you, I never mean, think think really too deep in the thing, you know. You know, say one of the songs where Peter Metro record. Me see the record one time. Not never go on for the song. Well not in our Space anyway, I mean, you know, if you go overseas or what becomes of it, but Peter Metro do that song. And when I look at the record, no credit never did, uh, my name never dep on it as writer. A uh, Peter Metro name did dep on it as writer. Peter Metro, and if you see him today, you can ask him, he probably not go remember, but me remember. But anyway, people, me just a go now look like a fax. So sometimes when you hear people say people take them music are true. But there's always more to the story. See? You want me? Like, share, subscribe, subscribe. I know I get long winded, you know, but bless up on yourself. Like, share, subscribe. You know, share this video. Lou Kirk out. Blessed.